Corrosion at the terminal of the battery is caused by the reaction between sulfuric acid from inside the battery with the metal clamp. As you can see, this reaction produces white salt deposits on the clamp and the terminal. Let's now prepare zinc sulfate salt. We need zinc and dilute sulfuric acid to prepare zinc sulfate. First, measure 100 cubic centimeters of 1.0 moles per cubic decimeter of sulfuric acid in a measuring cylinder. Pour the acid into a 250 millimeter beaker. Using a spatula, add approximately 5 grams of zinc powder into the acid in the beaker. The gas evolved is hydrogen gas. Stir with a glass rod until the zinc powder can no longer dissolve in the acid. When zinc has completely reacted with sulfuric acid, the solution formed is a solution of zinc sulfate salt. But there is still some excess zinc powder in the solution. How do we remove the excess zinc powder? Let's see how it is done. Filter the zinc sulfate solution using a folded filter paper placed over a filter funnel. Why is this process necessary? Filtration helps to remove any impurities and excess zinc powder from the zinc sulfate solution. These impurities will remain on the filter paper as residue. The filtrate zinc sulfate solution is poured into an evaporating dish. It is then heated gently over a Bunsen burner until it is one-third of its original volume. This is to make the solution saturated. Leave it to cool at room temperature. What do you observe? There are some white crystals formed in the evaporating dish. These are zinc sulfate crystals. Next, filter the content of the evaporating dish to separate the crystals from the solution. Wash the crystals with a little distilled water to further remove any impurities. Lastly, dry the washed crystals using filter paper or a desiccator. In this lesson, we have learned that most reactive metals react with acids to form soluble salts and hydrogen gas. A salt is formed when the hydrogen ion from an acid is replaced by a metal ion. Soluble salts can be prepared in the laboratory based on the following steps. First, a reactive metal reacts with an acid. Next, the salt solution formed is filtered to remove excess metal. The filtered solution is then evaporated to make it saturated. The saturated solution is cooled to form crystals. Then the crystals formed are washed with a little distilled water. After that, the crystals are dried using filter papers or a desiccator. When a salt is formed from the reaction between a reactive metal and an acid, Different types of equations can be written. For example, reaction between zinc and sulfuric acid will produce zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. As for the ionic equation, write all the ions and molecules present on both sides of the chemical equation. As for the net ionic equation, any similar ions from both sides of the ionic equation will be cancelled out.